Here I'm going to demonstrate a perfect example of what a waterlogged tank looks and sounds like. Completely waterlogged. Here's the pump. You don't want that. This tank will destroy that pump if it's left like this. The air volume control needs to be replaced or this tank has a leak at the top and all the air has leaked out. This tank is the only way to get it right again and when you pressure it back up make sure you put soap on top of the tank. If it's a metal tank just just around the fitting. Um, if it's fiberglass make sure you coat the whole top when it pressures back up. If there's any type of bubbles forming around then you'll know for sure and, and keep it wet you know. Keep it, keep it wet so that if any bubbles come up they'll be able to form and you'll know that this tank's defective. So after it drains down, and by the way, you want to take something loose, you know, make a little air. Either is like on metal tanks, you have a plug here you can take out, or a gauge, or a gauge or another plug somewhere right here in the middle, and allow the tank to drain down from the lowest point possible, say a, a faucet. You'll want to take that out. Just put it back in. And, uh, like in this case, I took this air volume control off. This is where I got the air into the system to drain it. Just put it back on there. And all these things, you just hand tighten them. Don't, especially on these plastic fittings. You don't want to have it any tighter than that. All right. back on, let it fill up. Like I say, check the top, make sure there's no leaks up there. See now it actually has to fill the tank and build pressure from compressing the air. And it'll be storing water. That's the point of the tank. When it's waterlogged, it's not storing the water you need. Therefore, it's not even there. You call for water, the pump's gonna come on. You stop using water, the pump's gonna shut off. That on off, on off, on off very rapidly is going to burn that motor up. Yeah, this is a very crucial point. You have to catch it before it happens. Otherwise, you'll need that and that. Very expensive. For cycle time, pump just pumped up and shut off. Open the faucet wide open. So the pump comes back on. You're going to check and make sure the air volume control actually sucks air when it comes on. Look. Yep. yep. Click, 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 click. Alright, pump's on, turn it off. Valve shut to the house. We know the only place the water's going is in the tank. Alright, so we started somewhere around 30 seconds. Stickle's still gonna be pretty short because it's got to build up an air charge in there. Okay, so the cycle is about 15, 18 seconds. That's a lot better than it was before it was that. <laughs> so, at least we got it a head, head start, get back right again. Eventually the air volume control will add air back to this tank and bring the air down to here. And then the cycle should be close to a minute.